right guys, we are on the road this morning. I'm gonna go look for some snakes. Uh, I didn't run an outro video last night because I got a, into a situation with the uh, law enforcement as usual and uh, spent the better part of an hour on the side of the road. <laughs> um, it was just, you know, me being profiled because I drive a van, same as always, but kind of threw off my mood and I didn't want to make any more videos after that didn't really see anything else anyways but we are off this morning uh, I got a little bit of a drive ahead of us but I will check back in when we get to where we're going what's up guys we're out here hiking uh, just met up with Jim and Richard and we're gonna see if we can find some snakes this morning but I will stay in touch all right our first snake of the day uh, there's a cotton mouth right there yeah you could probably you could get a crappy angle right here it's gonna be hard to see all right, next snake of the day is this cotton mouth hanging out. Same one I saw last week. It's in a little bit of an easier spot to see him though. It's pretty cool. We're gonna leave this guy and keep moving. And this cotton mouth's out again too. So that's two for three of the same snakes hanging out from a week ago. It's pretty cool. All right, here we have a triple in C2. There is a cotton mouth right there. The same one we saw earlier. There's a green tree frog right there, and then there's an eastern ribbon snake right there. This is the same spot where there was a water snake and a green snake. All right, guys, next snake, another little ribbon snake. This guy was pretty easy, so I grabbed him real quick. Richard's gonna photograph him real quick, and we're gonna keep moving. All right, guys, next snake of the day is a little ribbon snake right here. Yet another ribbon snake. This is the third or the fourth? Yeah, third. Ribbon snake number three. This Eastern King Snake in C2 right here. I'm gonna get some quick in C2 photos and uh, then I'll get a little more video. Heck yeah. Jim Williams with his lifer Eastern King Snake. Fantastic looking little snake. We're gonna take some pictures of this guy and get a little better footage and put him back in his stump. Here's a look at this Eastern King Snake in habitat. Fantastic looking snake. Number four for the year. So I'm, <laughs> how many is that? 96 left? So I get a hundred. Yep. They don't have to be Eastern Kings. I'm counting all Lampropeltas. But yeah, fantastic looking snake as always. Look at those broken bands on the side. We're gonna take a couple more pictures of this guy and put him back outside his stump. Richard just got this rat snake right under the edge of this bark here. This new one, new spot. Yep. Pretty cool. He's free. <laughs> Isn't that cool? It is cool. Green tree frog in C2. Oh, really? I want to focus on him. That's pretty cool. There we go. I can't believe you picked that up, dude. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> Big timber rattlesnake right here in C2. Fantastic. Look at that. That's so perfect. I'm gonna try to get an NC2 photo on my camera real quick. So here's a little closer look at this timber rattlesnake. Fantastic looking snake, another big one. We're gonna get a couple pictures and probably just leave this girl where she is. Yeah, there's a really nice looking eastern box turtle. Look at that. Pretty early in the year for those guys to be out. Richard just spotted the next rattlesnake of the day. Oh, you can see him right there, he is basking on that pipe. We're gonna get a little closer in a minute after some NC2s. Guys, here's another look at this rattlesnake that was basking on the pipe. He, j he jumped into the creek like a Nerodia and started through the tunnel. So I grabbed him and pulled him up here on the bank to get a better look. Another super nice looking timber though. Guys, here's one more look at this fantastic looking timber rattlesnake. We're just going to put this guy back by his creek and let him go back to being a water snake apparently. All right, guys, Caitlin just spotted this rat snake. See his head sticking out of that tree right there. <laughs> gonna be crappy video. I don't think he's gonna let me get any closer than that. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 yeah, he oh, sucked. Oh. <laughs> Caitlin also just spotted him. Little southern toad sticking out of a hole. All right, Richard just spotted the next snake of the day. Little cotton mouth coiled up on top of that log right there. I might try to get a little closer here in a second. King snake from up the trail where we're taking pictures of that cotton mouth. Look at that thing, he's beautiful. Holy crap. 
So nice. We're gonna I take some pictures. This <laughs> nice job, Lo. Here's another look at this king snake. Caitlin just fell. <laughs> so nice to you. All right, there he goes off into the forest to continue doing whatever it is he's doing. There's a rat snake right here on this bridge. I'm just gonna leave him to keep doing his thing. All right guys, next snake of the day. A little banded water snake basking right there. Pretty cool. These guys are really common here, so we're just gonna leave him there and keep walking. See what another banded really water good. snake. Wow. <laughs> All right guys, here's another rat snake. This one's pretty grumpy. He was just behind that bark right there. I peered down in it, he was coiled up. Pretty good looking one, nice dark one. I'm just gonna put him back down in there. You can see it's pretty easy to just peek behind the bark and see if there's anything there. There's another one right there. Oh, he fell, but he'll be good. There were two in this tree, Jim. Yeah. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for the today. Uh, we ended up with around 30 snakes. I didn't count exactly and uh, I definitely started losing count there at the end. I'll have to go back. I'll probably I'll try to put a exact number at the end of the video if I can count up. But there was a lot of stuff like Richard lost a couple things. I lost a couple things that I didn't get a good look at. Stuff like that. Alright guys, we are in the final hours of week 7. And I figured what better way to end the week than walking around in the woods. Uh, you can hear upland chorus frogs calling in the background. So I'm gonna go walk around and see if I can find some salamanders and some frogs. I'm probably gonna look like some sort of horrible monster in that video. I was shining the light right in my face, but yeah, I'm just gonna walk down the driveway and around the woods, uh, on the roads down there at the bottom. Oh my God, there's a bird. I don't see him, he might've flown out. He scared me though. Just heard a horrible flapping noise coming from beside my face. Oh, well, I'll check it in if I find something. All right guys, so I just cut the video and I found my first herp. I'm gonna let the screen sit here for a second and see if you can find it. Um, it's a gray tree frog and he is hanging out right here. Pretty cool, first one of these. I think I'm, this might be the first one of the year. I can't remember if I found any in the more recent uh, amphibian videos or not, but pretty cool. Always nice to see these guys. I'm gonna take a couple quick still cell phone shots and leave them alone. Is a there's a fish and then a larval marbled salamander, a crayfish right there. A little diving beetle. Let's see if I can get this marbled salamander out in the open a little bit. He does not want to come out in the open as it would turn out. <laughs> Hopefully, you got a decent look at him there. So here's a really weird behavioral observation. There's a couple salamander species that are known to climb up into low vegetation like this. No one really knows why. A lot of people think it's for navigational purposes, but um, the main example I can think of is uh, flatwood salamanders that do this. But right here is a spotted dusky salamander doing it in the, the edge of a vernal, basically a runoff from a vernal pool. And there's a freaking spotted dusky hanging out right here. Look at that. Weird stuff. Pretty cool though. Not a lot on the road, but there's a lot out in the, in the habitat tonight. It's pretty cool. A lone token salamander on the road. Four-toed salamander. Oh, the camera on this thing looks so good close up. All the calling frogs are over that way. And there's this guy. Going the complete wrong direction. Pretty good looking too, it's a shame he's stupid. Now this guy's got the right idea. And he's ugly. Oh, the spring peeper population's doomed. All right guys, I decided to come poke around down at the pond real quick. There's nothing calling yet, but I really want to see a pickerel frog, and down here is one of the only places I find them. So, um, in a couple of weeks, they'll probably be calling along with uh, American toads in here. But I'm gonna poke around, why not? See if I can find anything. This little pond had like four, three or four green frogs in it last time, and 
don't see any right now. That's either a leopard or a pickerel crawl calling. Crawling. Let's see if we can find him. So I just cut the video from the last clip you saw. And I walked over here. And I spotted this guy. Spring peeper. Hanging out. Not calling, but just chilling. At least he wasn't calling when I found him. He might be calling. He might have been calling earlier or something. Who knows? <laughs> well, that right there is a pickerel frog. I'm not going to mess around with NC2s because this is the first one I've seen in three years. So I'm just going to catch him real quick. I'm not going to mess around with NC2s, he said. I'm just going to catch him real quick as he jumps into the water right after I cut the video. Crap. Hopefully I can find another one. I know I'll be able to find more in a couple weeks. Maybe even tonight. But here's these two green frogs are still chilling in the boat. There's actually three now. There's another one right there. Well, I'm really pissed off I lost that pickerel frog, but it was a decent way to end week seven. Hopefully I'll find some more in the next couple weeks. But uh, week seven was good, definitely. Lots of snakes, lots of amphibians. Pretty solid week all around. So I will see you guys in week eight. Thanks for watching.